You guys have been on fire, on fire. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Hey guys, say what's up when you get in. Say what's up, say what's up. Should I go live on Instagram? What do you guys think? Should we just make Instagrammers come this way? Or should I go live there? Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Let me see you in the chat. I see you guys. Let's see, welcome, live chat, remember to guard. Okay, thank you YouTube for your tips. Okay, hey guys. Hey Tracy, hey Styles by Hot Commodity. Styles, you've been rocking with me for a minute. What's up Sandra, good afternoon. What's up Melanie, what's up Mitchell? That's an interesting way to spell Mitchell. Is it Mitchell, am I saying it right? Um, thank you so much. Roslyn, hey boo, you know what, let me IG you right now. Um, you gotta tell me what do you want, what song do you want? Okay, so first prize goes to the person who was on the live stream yesterday at noon, who remembers, give me what you learned yesterday at noon. If you were on live yesterday for the CEO business boot camp conversation, let me know something that struck a nerve and then I'm gonna give you the first two people I'm going to give you guys some free music. I have all of these cards that you can use to actually download music. Um, hey, I got so many questions from you guys. Some legit questions, too. Like, some legit, these questions all deserve a video each. Um, hey, Angie. <laughs> I love you, Styles. I love it. I love it. I love it. Man, we family. We family. Oh, it's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. I said Mitchell. Okay. Got it. Okay, what's going on? Look, I'm like, oh, Mitchell. <laughs> Melinda, Latasha, Jeffy, Gregory, Raman, Nadine. Hey, Lorna. So listen, you guys, I guess I'll go live on Instagram. Let me go live on Instagram too. You guys just be everywhere, okay? Be everywhere, why not? So, oh, my phone is doing something weird. Oh, where's my little phone, baby? So you guys, um, who was on the live stream yesterday? First gift for those of you that can actually give me something that you learned from yesterday. I gotta set this up. Instagram, we decided to go live with you as well. Hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh. This isn't working. This is funny. Why is it not working? Oh, there we go. Okay. So today is day two. We've been just talking. I gave you guys a ton of advice yesterday about business. Ton of advice about business yesterday. Instagram, I decided to go live with you. And now I regret it. Because it's not working. There we go. Jesus Christ. So we talked about business yesterday. We, I love talking about business. It's a favorite conversation. I love sharing the things that people just didn't teach me. I spent $17,000 on tuition for one of my trades, okay? Um, and when I got out of school, they didn't, I didn't have all the facts. Like it was just not, I didn't know how to run a business. I knew how to curl some hair. I knew how to blow dry some hair. That was how I got introduced to official business. I finally got a licensing that allowed me to operate as a professional Right. And so I got this skill set. So if you guys are listen, I don't think you need this license for everything, but I did have to get my license for beauty school. But that sent me on the business journey, because when you get out of beauty school, it dawned on me that when I get out, I'm not going to know like what's going to happen. Like you can know how to do hair, but if you don't have any customers, the same thing goes if you go to college. I got so many friends who went to college and they still don't have customers. They still don't have a business. They don't understand it because it taught you one level. I'm not saying it's unnecessary. What I'm saying is. People are confused at how to get started and how to make money with their business. You don't jump into business just to give yourself another job on the hamster wheel that's driving you crazy. That's not fun. That's not why we jump into business, okay? And so what we do in this hour is we talk about, um, you guys sent me a lot of business questions talking about the, how you know, um, you're know you new, you gotta figure out how to um, get more clients, how did I set the direction of my business, um, what specific things that I purchased when I started my business. What did I do first? People are asking these kind of questions. Um, how do you build an email list? Um, people are saying, how do you deal with the wrong type of clients? Some of you guys are looking to build an ideal clientele. Huh? How many of you guys want to get rid of some clients and get some new, fresh energy? All right. Some of you guys are asking 
Um, just about confidence. You don't have confidence in what you're doing right now. Some of you guys are asking about um, what things that I do to better my skills. So there's a lot of cool business questions. One of the number one things that people ask me about is getting clients. And so, hey guys, I see you guys coming on in. Num one of the number one things you guys ask is about getting clients. And so um, that's one of my favorite conversations because that's when I got really good at really fast because I recognized that I wasn't going to be able to live and exist in the way that I wanted to if I didn't have clients in my business because that means I'm not making money. And if I'm not making money, I can't live the life. I can't pay the bills. I can't do nothing. I'm just, I don't even know. So I got really, really, really OCD and crazy scary. Um, it was just so real for me to hurry up and figure out understanding what it is to start a business. And so I began to read all these different books and I was literally blown away by everything that I learned. And the bottom line is you get what you're specific about. In the first book, well, it wasn't the first book, but one of the books that I read about, um, you know, I tell you guys this all the time, Brian Tracy talked about just being clear and very, very specific about what you want. And I talk to you guys about that all the time. Being specific about what you want from your business, right? And why did you get into business? What is it that you're doing all of this for? Because if you really think about it, you could just go get a job, right? Because the job will give you money. So you have to get clear. You allow your mind. To Instagram is tripping. Difficulty or trouble. Instagram so is like literally playing. Who on the live stream? Oh my gosh! Allowed their. Instagram, you're full of it today. They have to. Y'all just have to meet me on Facebook and YouTube. I was trying to do all of them, but Instagram was like playing my other live stream, and I was live streaming at the same time. So anyway, moral of the story is: Hey guys, hey 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 hey, what's going on, y'all? Moral of the story is the average business owner jumps in from an emotional perspective and then you realize like, whoa, there's a lot of different categories in business. And so I got really obsessed with understanding how to create my um, standard operating procedures within my business and how to compartmentalize the things that need to be done within my business. I put on my CEO hat. Everybody type in the comments the word CEO. Um, thank you. Hey, cousin. Oh, good. Okay, Johanna, you guys are, YouTube, let me just tell y'all. YouTube is day ones. YouTube is crazy family. You guys, I asked the question earlier. Um, Johanna, did you change your name? Do I need to call you Melissa now? <laughs> I'm cool with that, just let me know. Um, uh, your business is your vehicle. Rosalind, did you win two songs today? So Rosalind, you gotta tell me which one you want. So you guys get a choice of three. You get Act Like a Success, you get, or you get Pretty Girl Selfie, or you get my album with my girl Regan Hillier, which is Unleash the Artist Within. So let me know, um, Roslyn, you just won another song. And then I saw somebody else answer. Um, Johanna, Johanna, you, you, uh, Johanna got it. So the tips, I asked the question and said, anybody that was on a live stream yesterday, give me something that you got. Um, and I see that your business need metrics. So yeah, that's one. So you win. This is how you get this. Go to Instagram.com slash Lakeisha Michelle. Inbox me to give you your free song, okay? Um, Johanna and Rosalind, you get two. So you guys get two. I love it. I see all the CEOs in the comments. So what I had to do is put my CEO hat on. And so if you really look at what a CEO does, they, they steer the vision and the direction of the company. The CEO is like the big wig, right? They're thinking of the big picture. They say, here's where we're going. They have the visionary type stuff. And then the CEO has to get managers in place. And then you have to get people. Um, the manager is going to manage the people that are doing the day-to-day -day tasks, right? That get the bottom line stuff done. Right. And so I'm giving you like a, just a rough draft. And you have to really think of yourself that way, guys, because if you don't and you're only thinking of yourself as the person who delivers the service. First of all, you're not thinking big enough because you're just in the on the ground floor and you're just busy worried about delivering the service. Now, here's what's interesting. Whether you're an accountant, whether you're delivering hairstyles, makeup, style, makeup, life coaching, whatever, when you're only focused on that then you forget to market yourself. And today we're talking about marketing ourselves. You also let all the other departments go to waste and things just start piling up and then you get overwhelmed and then you feel stressed out and then you crash and burn and you say that business isn't for everybody. When business is not, it has no respect of person. It's just a thing. Like you, you gotta be able to manage it and do your thing, right? So 
I put on my CEO hat and I begin to say, okay, where do I want to actually go? What did I start this business for? So, and you have different reasons why you start a business, okay? But a business is simply a vehicle. Like guys, people get into business because you're in it to make a profit. But also in order to make that profit, you're going to provide something that people deem valuable. So a lot of times people are so busy worrying about profit that you're not even selling stuff that people want. So that's a whole nother sub subject. But you have to think like a CEO and you have to manage where everything is going. There's metrics in the business. That's what we talked about yesterday. The metrics in the business that make sure you get the outcome that you want, right? And as a, typically if we're independent, if it's just us, you get busy caught up in doing the work and passionate about the technical part that you have to do. And you forget that you gotta manage the sales you got to manage the marketing. You got to manage all these different departments. And so we're going to talk about marketing today. Yesterday, we talked about mindset. We talked about understanding that your business needs metrics. We talked about the fact that you have to, the mindset is first over everything we talk about for the rest of the week, because if you don't have the right mindset, you're going to sabotage your business anyway. You have to have discipline. You have to be able to make yourself get up and do what's uncomfortable. You have to be able to put yourself in a position to pay attention to things that are not your norm. So if you, um, like for example, when I finally started to like look at the finances of the business, that wasn't my norm. I just spin, 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 spin. But it was like, okay, something's not working because I'm working way too hard. I'm slaving over here. I need to actually pay attention to the numbers. I'm working harder and not smarter. I'm missing money. I'm leaving money on the table and I'm mismanaging my resources, okay? I was mismanaging some of everything. So I really learned so much just from the beauty industry. I'm forever grateful to it because it taught me how to really look at Business 360. Now, when it comes to marketing, that's something everybody, everybody, everybody always talks about, putting myself out there. And you know, one thing I, I've been noticing lately is that people keep saying, how do I put myself out there? And I think that there's actually a mental block because you're so busy worried about yourself being out there, whatever that means, that you stall, you procrastinate, you overthink, you don't do. All of this stuff happens because you're worried about you being out there. And the reality is, guys, you're marketing so that people can understand the value you create in your marketplace. And so it's, it's how do I put my business out there? Like, what is the thing that you sell, right? How do you put that out there? How do you put that out there? And naturally, we think that it's just a matter of putting the thing out there. But no one cares about the thing until they care about, until they realize that you care about them, right? And, and so that's why your mindset is everything. Because if we're only... Half the time we're not marketing because we're in our mind about who do we think we are and I don't have the right look and oh, I'm just, I don't know what to say and I this and I that. That has nothing to do with the customer. But if you wake up every day and you're thinking about the customer and the customer's needs, then you make your moves based on what they need, then magic starts to happen. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Let me see in the comments because that's what we're going to talk about today. Instagram one day. I know it was tripping. It was tripping. So one of the very first things I did before I even knew what I was doing was I would listen to all of these women talk about what they wanted to see in their hairstyle. Even if you're not a hairstylist, just follow me because the business is business. Again, mindset. Stop looking at, you need to be able to look at any business, no matter what it is. And you want to be able as a CEO to just understand how any business runs because it just builds your muscle. It helps you become a stronger um, business person. Like it helps you have a, a, a great sense of how business runs. It also gives you ideas for your business because you can take techniques from other industries. So anyway, I'm in, I'm, this is when I was in, in high school. I'm, I'm working at a shoe store, right? I'm working at a shoe store and everybody that came in was asking about my hair. And so I just kept saying, you know, I do my hair, like whatever, it was no big deal. And so I didn't think anything of it, but naturally I begin because it was like every week people would ask the same questions. So I begin to know the, I knew what they were gonna ask before they asked it. 
right? And then I began to just give them tips and stuff like that. So by the time I got actually into the marketplace as a licensed hairdresser, I had a world of information of just people complaining about what they wanted. Someone tell me why that's so powerful. Why is that powerful? Why is that powerful? If you have firsthand information from your customer about what they want and you have a solution, would it be too much to say that if you went out today and talked to people and you spoke to what they wanted, then they would be interested in the solution that you have? Right. Why do you think people sell you? Why does do people just think about a lot of marketers, especially on Instagram? Everybody's posting like the cars and the beach and all that kind of stuff. Why? Because it captures your attention because the average person doesn't take enough trips. They don't go to enough beaches. And so that catches their attention. That's what they want. And then from there, you read the caption and the caption is selling you something because they spoke to your desire first. Right. Right. So if you think about what it is that you have as a solution, listen, and side note, if you're selling something, you only should be selling what people want. Right. It needs to be something that they want, not something you think they want, but it needs to be literally like a like a, a, it needs to solve a problem for them. OK. And here's the deal. I didn't know this at the time, but I had got all this information. So every time I talked to a new person, I would just mention what the other people were complaining about. And the new person was like, me too. And I was like, oh, well, here's what I'm doing over here. Do you want to come? Right? And it was just easy. And that's really, that's still what I do today. <laughs> I just got really good at listening to the problems that my market had. And then I speak to the problem. And then I say, here's what I'm committed to. Here's where we're going. Do you want to join us? You say you want these results. Here's what the mission is over here. Want to come? Does that make sense, guys? And we overcomplicate it. We really do overcomplicate it. If, I, if, if we can just think of it as simple as that, so then every time you're out and you're talking to someone and you're, or you're prospecting, you're looking for new customers, if you speak to their desires, and their frustrations and their problems that they're trying to solve, you get their attention. Now that you have their attention, you genuinely provide good information to help them. And then you say, here's a solution that I have. Wanna come? And they say yes or no. And it doesn't matter if they say yes or no, your job is to make the offer over and over and over again. Does that make sense, guys? And so when you're marketing yourself, you have to be clear that the message is what they want. And a lot of times people say, oh, how do I market myself? It's not about you. Don't put yourself out there. Like what? How do you say, have a conversation that helps other people? Because that's really what you're doing. You're getting, you're grabbing attention. Now you see people out here doing all kinds of stuff to get attention. I'm just speaking to the, the CEO who has a solution for people that you know you can help people, but you need to get more people. That's one of my rules. Get people, convert people, keep people. That's the three keys for today, okay? The three keys, if you don't get nothing else, that's your job and you should always be getting people. So many people send me messages and they say like, oh, um, you know, all of a sudden my clientele fell off because you stopped getting people. You should never stop getting people. And you should have mechanisms in place so that you're, when you're not talking, things are still talking, i.e. YouTube. That's why I'm really big on you guys being on YouTube. When I'm not on YouTube, literally, I can go get my iPad. I don't even know where it is. But literally, people are calling me or commenting on my videos, and they're interacting with me. And I'm still talking, even though I'm not talking. And so the videos are my employees. Want to learn how to set that up for yourself? Yes or no in the comments. Let's see. How many people want to set that up for themselves? Yes or no in the comments? My brain light just came on. How do you know their problem from the beginning if you're just meeting them? You ask. Surveying is one of the most powerful things you can do. 
So you literally, and also guys, you can literally just call your past clients and say, what's your biggest frustration as it relates to, you know, getting your hair done? Like, so I'm just using hair because it's easy. If I'm doing one-on-one coaching, I can just call all the people who said they were interested, but they didn't buy. I can call them and say, what do you need help with right now? And just listen. You don't listen with the intention of trying to find if they need your product or service. You just listen because then you're genuinely looking at if you can help them. If you can't, no big deal. But in the meantime, you're collecting data. Why do you think that people spill, spend millions on market research? Because they just listen. They just listen to what people are having problems with. And then naturally a solution will arise. But a lot of times we're listening with an ulterior motive. So whether you buy my program or not, I don't care. What I do every single day is talk to people. I literally talk to you guys every single day, right? And then you guys inbox me on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, on my website. And then I have literally, I have pay, uh, pages I keep in my phone. Sometimes face recognition, I swear it gets on my nerves. But in my phone, I have different categories. And I have all of these categories from different types of pe- like conversations with people's complaints. And it works. It So if I can help you, I will. If I can't, I'll refer you. And that's business. You're providing a value, right? And the customer deems it valuable, not you. The customer deems it valuable, right? So you just ask. Look at everybody saying yes. What y'all say? Oh, because I said, do you want to? Ah, did y'all see how I just did that? I do it naturally. Y'all see how I just did that? Everybody saying yes to YouTube. P.S. The YouTube course is in my mastermind. $97 a month. Do y'all see how that I just sold you? Some of y'all gonna be like, you know what? It's time for me to stop BSing. I'm working too hard. I don't, I've been screaming to get on YouTube for so many years and everybody keep BSing. And now it's like, oh. Because YouTube, literally these videos, that's Google. It's the number one search engine. You can't beat it. Give me your industry. Give me what you do. Watch me Google and see who's in your area. Who's dominating? Let me just see. Go Google short hair Los Angeles. I don't even do hair in Los Angeles anymore. I still get calls every single week. Every single week, somebody hits me up trying to book a hair appointment from LA, trying to get their hair pressed in Dallas. I don't do hair anymore. I stopped doing hair in 2016, but I still get calls. Why? Google. Google and YouTube are the same company, guys. I've been screaming this. And I will scream it until I die because people just take forever to just finally say, let me get out of my way and just try. Some people don't like to try. You just like to look and be skeptics. You know what? You get what you're specific about and you also get what you are what you move on. People take forever to move. In business, you got to just make moves. Who's the number one team coach, right? Somebody says... Coaching teams. So here's the funny part about marketing. We look at our titles. It has. To, we have to think in terms of our customer. If you could just walk away from this thinking about the fact that you need to think like how the people Google, you'll be amazing. You'd be amazing. If you want me to teach you how to be found on Google, join my mastermind. LakeishaMichelle.com. Click the mastermind. It's 97 bucks a month. Get your life, right? It's marketing. I, that's, I, I love getting customers. But the way that you... Now that's one of the conversations selling. Because y'all see how I just sold that. And I wasn't sleazy. It wasn't sleazy. Valuable information. If you want to coach, holler back. Come in my group. Same thing when it comes to when it comes to um, selling whatever it is that you have, like coaching teams, lifestyle, and career coach. Here's another thing, guys. I want some of this, some of this stuff, guys. I think I see I see a couple people that I'm like, you've been doing that for a long time and it's not. Look at the industry. Make sure that there's somebody charging a big ton. Make sure there's a bunch of ads people spending money on for that industry. Make sure that it's a booming industry and people are buying actively these things. So like the dating industry, the health and wellness industry, right? Look and see what people are paying a ton of money for. That lets you know like, okay, people want this thing, right? Because sometimes I hear career coaches have a lot of problems. I don't know. You need to go research it. I haven't done enough research. But from what I've heard from other people, it's like, Hit or miss, because some people yeah, it's hit or miss. So good, look at your industry. I ain't got the answer for that because I don't. I haven't researched that. But make sure you're looking at your industry and make sure that you're. It's an industry where people actually want to spend money. Don't go try to like whatever unless you have some like weird niche.
that works or something like that. But even then, like, just go where the money's at, guys. It's just it's business. Business is for profit. Okay. The definition of a business is literally an exchange of value. Let's, let's Google it. Okay. A line of work, the practice of making one's living by engaging in commerce. You got to sell something. Okay. Trading something for some monties. Something for some monties. Okay. So, marketing, putting yourself out there. You got to learn how to go out and get people. That's the thing. Get people, convert people, keep people. That's your daily job. Getting people looks like putting your message out there on a regular basis. What is your, what, how do you help people? Just say it on a regular basis. It needs to be, you need to have a actual plan of when you'll do it, how you'll do it, in what way, what are you saying? And it needs to be a system that's happening all the time, right? Converting people. Now, I'm going to talk to a lot of you guys and a percentage of you guys are going to buy. You need to have a way to measure the conversions, right? Which means if I talk to 10 people, how many people actually buy? Do that enough times and then you'll have a metric. Remember the word from yesterday. You'll have a metric. And so then because you have some data, now you can know like, do people want this? You know, and if they do, now, what, what's my financial goals? And then I can just put the work in. It's really, really, really not that hard. I started all my businesses with the dollar sign first. I was like, okay, how much do I want to make? And then what's the vehicle that's going to get me there? At the beginning, it was hair. Okay? At the beginning, it was hair. I said, okay, I got this thing that I can do. So what do I want to make? A month, break it down into the week, break it down into the day, and then that's my daily match. I'm hitting that number. So now that I know my numbers, then I just match my actions with the numbers. And then every 12 to 14 days, I'm looking at wait, what did I do? What results did I get? Okay, do I need to take that out, add that in? It's business and it's all ran by metrics. If not, you're just throwing spaghetti at the wall. You're literally just like doing stuff, trying to figure it out, hoping something works. And businesses are not about hope. Like, although you can hope something, it's about your actions and your numbers. Business runs on numbers. And it's about how many conversations can you turn into cash? Right? Get people, convert people, keep people. A percentage of the people that you convert into your business will stay. How many of you guys have bought more than one thing from me? A lot of y'all. And still be on the free stuff. Be at the free and the pay. Right. A percentage of the people will stay. And your job is to just create this cycle of getting people, converting people, keeping people every single day. And one thing that really helps you is if you actually understand what the customer wants and needs and stop guessing. And the only way you can do that, guys, is by really talking to people. So asking them, what are you frustrated about? Like if you're in the beauty industry, just go talk to people and see what types of problems are they trying to solve? If you're selling makeup, maybe selling a makeup class. What type of problems are people trying to solve? If you're selling, like, I don't know what you sell. Okay, you're selling career coaching. You got to really go find some people that, like, get into their mindset. What problems are they trying to solve? What would they pay to solve it and have it fixed like this? And then when you get into your marketing message, you just use their language. And then you present it to them. And then they say yes or no. And then it's just a numbers game of how many presentations can you make? And how many, you know, how many does it, how many presentations does it take to get one yes? Does this make sense? I just Googled short hair Sacramento. I popped up number three, but I want to be number one. Okay, let me Google it. Let me see what you are. Short hair sack. Well, first of all, a stylist would be, a client is going to say short hair specialist or something like, they're going to be like, let me see, Sacramento. You got to think. I spell Sacramento. So when I type short hair specialist Sacramento, Mary Doty, you're your number one. But there are still no videos. And videos will beat these links because people are visual. People are visual. So if you're a career coach, let me see, number one career coach on a career. But see, that's so vague. I, if I need a career coach, what am I typing? I'm... I would say more than I need a career coach. Like, what do I specifically need help with? So that's where your research comes into play. You got to research and see how people are thinking. What were they struggling with? If you already have testimonials, what were they struggling with before, your, before you? 
What were they looking for? What was missing? You need to know those details because that's the languaging that you're going to use to grab the next person. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Yes or no? Even when it comes to event planning, that's vague. What type of, there's so many types of events. So what type of event planner are you? And here's the deal. You may can do weddings, funerals, baby showers. So you still would need commercials for each of those lanes because each of those customers, while event planning as a bigger picture has like a general standard, you probably have a standard operating procedure for event planning, but you want to speak to the wedding. You want to speak to the bride. You want to speak to the to the baby shower person. You want to speak to the birthday party person so that they feel like you're unique. So you need three different conversations, even though it's pouring into one thing. Does that make sense? Because event planning is like, oh, that's cool. It's vague. When I stopped saying I was a hairstylist and said I was a short hair specialist, income doubled so fast it was crazy. So you've got to get really specific and then you've got to make sure that people can find you. One of my favorite ways that people find me is Google. And what I love about Google is when people find you from Google, they've been searching. So it's different from you trying to go convince somebody that you're the one. On Google, they're searching for the one. So they come to you with a different energy. Does that make sense? If you just graduated cosmetology school, I get that question all the time. Get in the streets. You need to get some flyers and get outside and say, hey, I just moved over here. I got this 14 day thing I'm doing. Give them some reason to come into you now. Go into the area where you're working, near, anywhere like near that area and dominate the grocery store. And stuff. That's to me, that's the fastest way. You also can get on Instagram and locally search people and send them offers in the DMs. You also can maybe pay for some Facebook ads. The average person can't pay for advertising because they don't have the money when they just get out of school. And also all the beauty school students, I need to just do a whole campaign because everybody's people, everybody in beauty school just act like the world is over and we're so poor and yada, yada, yada. You will always don't start your business with the mentality of I don't have. I'm not saying you're doing that. I'm just saying that's what I'm hearing. These beauty school people message me. And I'm like, look, guys. This even when I was broke in beauty school, I didn't think like that. I always saw myself as successful and I just got resourceful. I didn't let what I didn't have stop me. And so that's why I got out of beauty school and started making money immediately because I realized like if it is to be, it is up to me. So I don't got time to worry about what I don't have. I started making tips in beauty school. I started reading business books in beauty school. I started passing out flyers on my lunch break in beauty school. I started dressing like a professional. In beauty school, I started being who I wanted to be in the future today. And so then my life changed like this because, and, and I got nominated for a contest because of who I became while I was in school, broke with no money, straight out of abusive relationship. So the thing about being out of beauty, it doesn't matter. It's the same. It, being out of beauty school is the same as just getting out of college or just starting a new business. Say you're a photographer and you just started a new business in photography. Day one is going to be the same for each of those people. Hustle. You got to go get people, get people, convert people, keep people. So you got to be willing to be uncomfortable and go let people know how you can help them. Go let people know how you can help them. Um, I will be in a good area to make money. Just get confused some days. South Lake, good job. That's a, that's a wonderful area. That, and that's where the money is. In South Lake, I used to sing over there. Um, and then, you shoot, you can be mobile. That's, that's a bunch of housewives who ain't got nothing to do but be pampered. Um, hey, Sandra. Launched the class yesterday via a promo video I made. Got an email from a woman who told me three years ago I couldn't teach in a program I helped create. She was asking me for te help teaching online. You want to pay me to do what you said I couldn't do? Sure. I'll be happy to take your money. Hilarious. Demetri is in my online course magic class. Um, handmade dog accessories. Very specific. Something like that that's so niche that typically you can find like a lot of cool. Look, I would look on Etsy and just kind of see what the market is doing. See what's out there. Are people buying? But I'm pretty sure because dog lovers, like when I had a dog, she was like, she got dressed. She had her nails done. She got her nails painted, everything. I had the cutest little poodle. So I think that's actually really, really good. I'm hosting a meetup. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you guys, meetup.com. So meetup.com, you can create events in your city. People are up there all the time searching. Meetup, I'm going to look and see. 
I'm going to look and see. Sorry, I'm smacking. How many people use Meetup? Hmm. Hmm. So, I wonder how many people actually use meetup.com because if you're like a service provider or you're selling like a coaching or something you can host free events and then at the end upsell them into your program and those are actually quite potent i have spoke for free so many times and at the end made five figures because i did a free class which is kind of what i'm doing now Juries is still a product. You just got to find your angle. So jury is visual. So I think it's heavy on the visuals. And then you got to speak to what, think about it. Somebody sold one of those little McDonald's. Remember when McDonald's was putting those little beanie babies? People were selling them beanie babies for $300. Why? Because remember yesterday we talked about vision. They just wrote a beautiful story about where they were going and it was this beautiful story. So after the story, the story spoke to the needs of the people. It touched their heartstrings. And then they bought the Beanie Baby for $300, which McDonald's was giving it to you with a Happy Meal. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, you guys, the questions are lit. You know why people don't like talking to beauty school students? Because they be like complaining and they're so negative and they just... All they focus on is being broke. So what I've heard and experienced, I happened to travel with a company for a year. We went to a different state every week. We went to multiple cities within the state. I talked to so many beauty schools, it's not even funny. I talked to so many students. Everybody was just like, people are just giving up on the beauty industry because people are so negative. It, it feels like the children of Israel, Jesus. It just feels horrible. That's why I stopped. I stopped dealing with it because I was like, Ain't nobody, you can't change a person's mind. Only you can change your mind. It doesn't mean you give up on people. So I always feel bad. And then I go, I ain't got time to tell you that you're awesome because you are, but you got to know that you're awesome and you got to be the one to uplift yourself, right? So I be feeling bad for the beauty industry because people just kind of like, they just quit talking to them. They be like, whatever. You should join. So here's the deal. The CEO Silas Bootcamp. Over the next 30 days, when you join, first of all, the first thing you do is get clear on your business. We unpack your business. In week one, that's what we're doing. When you log in, what your job is to do is get your business all clear. The average person is confused on what to do next because their business is in their head and it's not on paper. So you're all over the place. You're working on the wrong things based on where your business level is. So my first goal is to get your business on paper. So we can see how things are functioning. What are your key activities? What are the things that you should be um, focused on doing that bring in the revenue, right? Who are your customers? Because a lot of times you don't know and you may have different customer profiles, but put them on paper so that you're clear so that when it's time to make the marketing message, you're clear on you need different messages for different customers. What do the customers value? So we go into what is the customer deeming valuable? Meaning, because a lot of times we just, we, want to sell what we want to sell because that's what we want to do. And it has nothing to do with the customer. And it's only about the business is about the customer. So this is about you getting clear on your business, your business structure, right? And then what I'm going to do, you know, each week, one call a week for the next four weeks, we're going to unpack your business, talk about what you should be focused on. We're going to go over marketing and converting your prospects into booked people. We're going to talk about money and all the money mistakes I made. I do not want nobody making the mistakes I made. Very expensive. I made it through because I know how to make money. It's one thing I know how to do, right? So, but I want to show you guys just how to kind of like manage, manage the numbers and then go hire somebody who does that so that you can not be stressing about money and you can really make what you want because people used to say, oh, make $10,000 a month. Well, in my mind, $10,000 a month was my paycheck. So, but what, what was happening was I would make $10,000 a month and then I was, spent, I was still using that 10,000 to pay my business, and do all this other stuff. So that was wrong. My business needs its own money. And I personally want to check cut to Lakeisha for her personal life for a tent. Well, that was then. Now it's bigger. But you know what I'm saying? So just understanding all of that, right? Um, just sharing with you guys enough so that when you go to a professional, 
They will love you. I've had so many people say, oh my God, my tax person. Oh my God, my accountant. Oh my God, I got a loan because of what you showed me because it helps you get clear. And the reason why people are so frustrated in the business is because they don't have clarity. And so it's just all jumbled, hot mess. Okay. And then on week four, we're all about making things happen. Really every week there's, you get this information, you get instant access to a lot of this stuff. So what I'm clear on is on the live calls that you have with me is that if I'm just looking for outcomes and then the plan to support the outcome, that's my strength. Um, so that you're not sitting and procrastinating and just talking about stuff that you ain't going to do. Okay. LakeishaShell.com is how you sign up. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. When you said you was in South Lake, I was like, is her profile picture black or white? <laughs> no shade, but you have to know your market. So I don't know what you're selling, but you also have to know your, like what your audience is in South Lake. That's, you need to know like where your people are. Sometimes we try to make ourselves fit in an area that if that's not where your people are, you might have to travel. Hey, Jada. Yes, true. Everything in my mind. Yeah, that's why it gets confusing. Everything's in your mind, guys. Everything's in your mind. And you just, it gets overwhelming. And so my goal for the CEO Mastermind is to show you how to put your business on paper so you can see all the different departments. And then we work on the most important thing now, the key activity for now. The average person is getting clientele. OK, and that's what I'm really good at. I want you guys to be using the Internet and social media to build your brand, to get your message out there, your business's message out there so that you can have customers calling you as well as anything you do, like passing out flyers and, and networking events and stuff like that. But guys, it's it's just it's your job. You've got to manage all of that. Now, here's the other part. The reason why I'm always talking about mindset and the reason why we have good tea for life is because people can't run their business properly because they life jacked up. So you just stressed out about your man and you stressed out about this and you won't make a decision about this. So we need both. You have to have a good personal life and a good business life. You're not two different people. It's just pay as you go. So it's every month you get instant access to, I believe there's nine courses in there. One of the courses shows you how I sell over social media. How, one of the courses shows you how to take the pictures and stuff that book social media. Um, one of the courses I show you literally the direct post and all that. So if you're looking to use a lot of internet stuff, um, definitely in 10 steps to 10K, you're going to get that. Um, there's another class about building your clientele. Okay. You get a whole workbook. So you can go in and focus on the exact area that you need. There's another course that's all about sales. If you know for the next 30 days you need to focus on sales, then take that class. Um, and then you have the live calls with me just so you can ask me questions. Um, I don't see CEO style. Who listen to teachable? Is that? It's in the mastermind. Yeah. Everything's in the mastermind. Um, the book. So basically it's about building your clientele. That's what that is. The book stylist. You don't have to be a stylist. It is the same thing I use right now for my network marketing business. It's the same technique. Um, it's just, I called it the book stylist. Cause that was at the time who I was talking to. Um, but businesses, you know, I tell you guys, clientele building is simple. How many people can I talk to? You got to be talking to people all day. If you don't have, if you're not paying for Facebook ads and stuff like that, you want to leverage the internet. You want to leverage social media and you want to be hustling, like get on, like have a way that people can reach you all the time. So between the internet and you running your mouth, I'm just saying you're going to win. Um, and starting your business, how soon would you have to register your business name? For me, now I'm not the law on this. They, of course, some people say immediately. For me, I started a lot of stuff and I just wanted to see if I was interested in it and if people would actually buy it. So here's another thing. Some people start businesses and you're not realistic about, am I really committed to this? So for me, I was like, oh, let me test and see if I like doing this and if people actually want to buy it. So once I had, you know, they say like, you know, five, six hundred dollars, depending on the price point of what you're selling, that lets you know that, OK, people want this. Then, you know, go get a business thing set up. Um, there's like a when you do your taxes, they chop up the first amount of money. There's you have like a little grace period, but Google it, get the proper answer. I'm not your lawyer, but I say people always waste time going to get stuff registered, getting websites and all that. And you can't sell nothing. So what I think the proper thing and what natural entrepreneurs do think about Richard Branson when he was in the airport, did he go get a registration before he started Virgin airlines? No, he started the freaking airlines. So it's the same concept. It's like validate that people want it. So yesterday we talked about validation. If you're just starting, you need to validate that the market wants what you're wanting to offer. So for you in South Lake, you need to validate that that's the right area for what you're selling, right? Because maybe your clientele is not in South Lake. 
I don't know because I don't know what you're selling. But I want to teach you guys how to think for yourselves like this so that you can start answering these questions and make moves and be doing what you desire to be doing. Um, you should join. The doors are going to close, guys. When the doors close, all of these classes individually are hundreds of dollars a pop. People have already paid. I'm not making that up. Literally, when they're sold separately, like 10 steps to 10K was sold for $4.97. The Book Stylist Boot Camp was $3.37. Um, the Make More Sales Challenge, the 30 days, that one is, um, what? That one is uh, $99. I never inboxed you on Instagram. Um, was I supposed to? Like, what does that mean? If you want to, two people want a card this morning, Rosalind and Kim Richardson. So each of my classes are sold individually for a different price point. The mastermind lets you just access the library of business courses, which will help you with clientele building. It will help you with getting seen, um, getting your business seen. And um, those courses you get as a bundle for $97 a month. Doors close on Tuesday. So, and here's the thing, like guys, $97. I always say this and it sounds really bad, maybe to some people. They're like, Keisha, you can't say that. If you don't have $97, then you need to be in a boot camp where you're learning how to get money because you don't know how to get money. You have the money exists. Nobody has to go print money for you. So you have to learn how to get money. So how about come be in the tribe where you can ask questions from your coach because your girl's trying to give you some advice so that you can go do it. And then you have an, a community of people that are all thinking the same. Sometimes, guys, you're trying to do something and you don't have nobody in your environment trying to do what you're trying to do. So it's just like either you're bringing them up or they're bringing you down, one of the two. And typically they're bringing you down because they don't even understand your vision. And so we talk about vision. We talked about, um, we talked about business metrics. We talked about a lot, right? But there's only so much I can give you. In the class on Sunday, everybody was like, I want to have 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. I want to book this. I want to have clients here. I want to be mobile. There's nothing stopping anybody from doing any of those things. Even when people keep saying they want to be debt free. The way that I started getting rid of debt I just made a list of all my debt and then I literally just started planning to knock it out. And then I was, I was bold. I, I sold my car. I like got a bike and rode my bike. I just started doing bold things and I just made it non-negotiable. This, I don't want this debt, this debt, this debt. I want good credit. Okay. I'm hiring a credit company before I even understand what they want me to do. I just paid the money and then I did what they said and then boom, my credit was good. Then I can walk into a dealership and get anything I want because I just did it while it was uncomfortable. Do you know what selling your car and riding your bike around LA actually does? I began to meet people in my neighborhood. Everybody was like, you're that girl that rides that bike. Why are you on a bike? And then it just started the conversation. I was like, because I sold my car. Oh, I'm doing my paying my debt down. I sold my car. Da, da, da. Then people just, everybody knows my name in the city. Then it was really fun. It became this fun thing, but I got radical. So the real question is, are you going to get radical about what you want and do something different? You know, because everybody got a mastermind. You ain't got to join mine, but you should do something. OK. Um, what advice do you give a student in pharmacy school to increase revenue and start building wealth? And you said you'd inbox me. Girl, you know how many y'all have to remember now. It'd be a lot of messages. So if I forget, nudge me. You didn't nudge me back. You ain't say Keisha. Like, come on now. It's a bunch of people. Do you know how many questions we got just alone from the. Listen, I'm not trying to ignore nobody. Um, I won. Not Kim. Kim won this morning, girl. <laughs> You guys are hilarious. Um, I do natural hair and I sell hair extensions. I graduated from Tony and Guy. I want to use my talent to help to open the doors slash business. But first I have to master this business. What does that mean? You guys, and then let's get, I don't know what that means. I want to use my talent to open other doors slash business. Oh, in your life maybe? Does that mean you want to like use, you want to leverage your skill set, make some money with it and then go into another field for yourself? I think that's what you're saying. Oh, I know you weren't trying to be rude. Don't mind me. Y'all know I'm blunt now. I ain't trying to be rude either. I just want you to know that when you ask me a question, if I don't say nothing, send it again because I just probably didn't see it. And y'all know I, re I, respond to, I pretty much respond to, I mean, I, almost everything. A lot of times I don't see stuff, especially on Facebook. It always goes to spam. Um, hey, girl. I remember the bike. Right. I miss my bike. I, man, my legs were amazing. Um, what if you are a jewelry designer? It's, <coughs> it's a product. How would you sell me these earrings? Right. And really, it's just a matter of putting it on and asking enough people. People buy what they buy for different reasons when it comes to jewelry or dresses or clothes. Um, it is also you can go the whole brandy route of branding route of 
you know, posting the sexy pic and then saying earrings on sale, new order today and all that kind of stuff. But it still sells. It's just how many people can you get in front of? How can you gain attention? Um, this class is really good for people who don't have money for advertising or maybe you need to validate the business and get clear on what it is and then you're going to invest in advertising. Um, you're in pharmacy school to increase revenue and build wealth. So here's the deal. I think that sounds sexier than like a direct question. So if I was in pharmacy school or beauty school and I wanted to make an X amount of dollars extra a month, that's more clear. So how much money do you want to make right now? And then we just figure out what the vehicle is that's going to get you there. That's how people think, guys. I'm telling you, I'd be around so many people. They'd be like, what you want to make? So then we just pick the number and then we work backwards. So if you're in school, first thing first is what do you want to make? I know it seems easier than it, we want it to be harder, but it really is like that. I found this new nail tech on Instagram, you guys, and I am so excited about her. I don't know who she is, but now I got to find her again because I lost her. Um, okay, I'm looking at the questions. So yeah, let's get a direct number. I need a direct number. Don't be scared. I need a direct number of what you want to make. Like for real. Um, and Whitney, like the first thing first before we go to the other avenues is really just getting clear on what you want that business. Oh good, you want to make $1,000 a month. So do you want to make 500 or do you want to make 1,000? Because you put 500 through 1,000. Get a direct number. You guys, we got to be gangster like this. You got to really think like this, for real. You got to be specific and be unapologetic. Like, I want to make, the program is not a length of time. It's self-paced. So you can take it as you want. I'll do live calls for the next four weeks, starting on Monday. So, and I may change and just do live calls all the time. I don't know. It depends on my schedule. I got something pending. But in the meantime, the next four weeks, um, I just started back going into the mastermind. It's so much valuable information. Yay. Yeah, we got lifers in there. This is not something new. There's people that's already in it. Okay, 12K a month. I like that. If you're still on the fence, get off. If you are debating whether or not to get this master bundle, just do it. Skip one nail appointment per month. Don't buy coffee for 20 days. You will learn. You will grow if you just follow the steps. I love you. She's such a hustler. Doctor, listen, Dr. Lambert is off the chain. What I love about you is that every time you see me doing something, you like, oh, I can do that too. You find yourself... You, you, you pay attention. That, I, that gives me such joy. Makes so much sense because that's how I learn. Okay, so. Awesome information. I love it. Yes. Yay. Oh, perfect. Okay, so Whitney says that there's a couple questions. Let me, let me get to them. So Whitney says that she wants to take her cosmetology. So you're a hairdresser. Let me give you guys, if you don't know me, I had no money. I was in the negative. I went to beauty school on a loan and my boyfriend was buying my food and paying my rent. Okay, let's be clear. So, <laughs> you guys are funny these comments. So, I started reading all these books about mindset and then I started reading all these business books and then I just did what they said. I was like, what do I have to lose? I'm already broke. Okay, so I would find $20 here, $20, ask my boyfriend for whatever. You know, I would go sing. I would get tips. I was doing everything I could do and I would get money for T-shirts and I would get money for, I mean, I got, I got two T-shirts made and I still have them to this day. If you've been to some of, some of you guys go to my live classes and I wear those shirts, they mean the world to me because I didn't have no money and I bought those shirts on faith because I didn't have no money, but I know I wanted to wear a T-shirt with my business name on it. And I knew I was going to go out and put that shirt on. I hand washed it and I put it on every day. That was my uniform, right? And if I didn't have my shirts, I wore my apron. I went outside. I talked to people every single day. Because I was like, if I talk to 10 people, I'm going to get one person. So I'm going to talk to 30 people so I can get three people. And my business within six months, like I was popping. People kept saying, what are you doing? It's simple. I just got comfortable with being like out and uncomfortable. Like I just went and talked to people when it was inconvenient for me. And it, and it just all paid off. You don't even see the results of your labor until like what you did in January is going to show in February. It's going to show in March. Right. But the good, the good thing is what you do in February is going to show like so you always have the opportunity to start fresh. But the thing is, again, people got their business in their head. This course will allow you to put your business on paper when you put your whole. Do you know what that means? You need to look at your 
your cost structures of your business, money just leaking out your business because you don't have nothing on paper. You need to look at how you're going to make more money. So creating a money plan. You need to look at the customer and their needs. What do they need? Because at the end of the day, that's first because that's who's buying stuff. The customers are buying stuff. So look at the customers and their needs. And then you've got to look at, um, you know, all of the different lanes, like the marketing, like what are you saying? How are you saying it? What are the ways you're going to distribute your message? What platforms will you use? All of that is what we do so that you can finally go, okay, here's my business. So then that is a relief. And then from there, you look at what business level are you on? Because there are different activities based on your level that you should be doing. So then right there, you have clarity. So now it's like, okay, I know what I should be doing. Typically it's marketing and getting more customers for my audience. So then from there, you go and look into the business library and you say, what do I need to, is, is it sales? Is it, I need to just work on this Instagram? Do I need to work on YouTube? Do I need to, then you just pick what you need and then you do it. Nobody can't make you do it though. You know what I'm saying? So that's a whole different project. So I went from no money, figuring out how to read books and do what they say. I created a six figure salon business. I won a contest with L'Oreal. They took me all around. I saw every single thing you could possibly do in the beauty industry, which opened up my mind. And I was like, I would have never even saw that. I didn't even know none of this stuff was possible, which really just made me want to get into the, the business side of it. Like, and show people like there's way more than life than just standing behind the chair. There's all these different avenues. Right. And so then in general, I've always been obsessed with business. I went to college for business, but I dropped out. So along the way, when I was behind the chair, I began to understand that I needed systems and processes so that I can have a smooth day. I didn't like that my whole day will go from sun up to sundown and my legs were swollen, yada, yada, yada. So I began to study business systems and business models and I began to get really, really clear on what I wanted. I also got really clear on the money that I wanted to make and how much I wanted to work. And I made business my cuss word, fill in the cuss word, because that's what it's like. I get to make it. It's my vehicle to give me what I want. I started this. I didn't start this to give myself another job that stresses me out. And so when I decided, when I just figured out that business is the thing that's going to get me all of whatever, okay, I got to treat it like gold. I got to treat the customers like royalty. I got to only give them what they need because the more I help them, the more they help me. So it's just become this game of how much can I serve you? Does that make sense? So from there, started making a bunch of money. Then I was like, okay, I don't want to be behind the chair anymore. So What's my next thing? Like, and now I understand how it works. Business really, I really started really studying just how businesses run. And I just tested everything from behind the chair. And then I consulted some people and then I helped some other people make some money. And so I just realized like, oh, this is like a fun game to me. So my next thing was, how do I create recurring revenue? I've been reading about it. I want to create recurring revenue in my life. And I wanted to get paid while I was sleeping. I want to get paid, you know what I'm saying? Every single month, you know, for work that I did, you know, whatever. So that's when I started learning that I could actually leverage my skill sets. And I was like, I wonder if I can teach online. And so then I made the online business and it started out slow and then it doubled every year. And then I left the salon in 2016, closed the doors. I'm like completely on faith. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna only teach online. 2017 and 2018 made six figures each year teaching online and speaking, singing, teaching. That's my life now. It's really, really cool. So. The thing is what I've learned and I've been mentored by some amazing business coaches like that have nothing to do with the beauty industry. And I've done a, enough mastermind programs for business. And what I realized at the end of the day, we were doing the same thing in every mastermind. I'm paying twenty, thirty thousand dollars a pop per class, right? Per mastermind, per group. We work for a year and it's like or maybe some of the classes were two thousand or one thousand or five hundred, whatever. But the it all boils down to you getting clear about what you want. And then just running your business like a business, paying attention to the marketing, following the metrics. Right. And then making your decision. That's all business is. It's like if we do this, will we get that? Right. So you can totally use your hair skills or your beauty, whatever, whatever you do right now to get from behind the chair. It's just about getting clear on what that looks like. The average person that I talk to. They don't want to claim what they really, really want because they feel guilty. Somebody just said, is it too much? It's never too much. If I had started with the bigger numbers, I would be a whole lot richer. But I was just like trying to be modest because the way I grew up, you know, we was modest. 
And so I did everything modestly. But at the end of the day, the concept to make more money, when I talk to my millionaire friends, they do the same thing. So my goal is to help all of us understand that it ain't nothing but your mind. And then the action, you get the mind part, 80% mind, 20% action. Um, what advice do you have? Okay. So you want to make 500 through a thousand. Should you start small or go big? A thousand is a goal. Cool. A thousand dollars. So then you just look at what vehicle can give me a thousand dollars a month. Right. While I'm in pharmacy school, what can I do? So once you start asking yourself these questions, how much fun could I have doing this side hustle? See, some of y'all are like, well, I don't know the side hustle. No, that's not what I told you to look at. You just begin to get bright eyed. What can I do for an extra thousand dollars a month? My company, Isogenics, can give you an extra thousand dollars a month while you're in pharmacy school. It's actually perfect because you're with a bunch of people. So if you can understand that business is having conversations and a percentage of those conversations will buy something from you, then you can do any business. It's just a matter of finding the business that people are screaming that they want. So for those of you who are like, okay, I want to make a thousand dollars. And I say, join my squad for Isogenics. And I'm going to show you guys how to generate a thousand dollars a month because you're getting healthy and you're helping other people do the same. Who wants to lose weight? Who wants to have more energy? Who wants to have better sleep at night? Who wants to actually gain some weight? Maybe you got to build some lean muscle. Who wants that? Damn near everybody. Okay, cool. Well, do you want to put the work in to actually build that business? Because the work that you would put in to build that business is the same work that you would put in to build your salon business, to build your consulting business. It's just a matter of conversations. You're presenting something to people a certain amount of times and a percentage of them say yes or no. And the cool thing about, right. Yeah, I see these comments. And the cool thing about it is like, you get to say how hard you want to go, how big you want to play. God own everything. How is there ever such a thing as too much if you are his child? Come on, girl. You better preach. You better preach, Demetria. Demetria said, God own everything. And if I'm his child, then I do too. I'm an heir to it all. A graphic designer. I'm tired of being stuck behind the chair. My goal is 15K a month. And the whole thing is that, guys, the number goal is always just fun. It's like break it down and figure out what the vehicle is. What's the vehicle that'll give me that money? What is the vehicle? Do you guys, does that make sense when I say vehicle? Tell me yes or no in the comments. I just got my fire lit again. I'm on fire and I'm ready to go. I'll be buying a, a la carte. I see a few more courses I need, but we're paying twice if I get the bundle. I see a few more courses I need, but we'll be paying twice if I get the bundle. Don't understand that. I don't understand that. I see courses I need, but paying twice. Yeah, some of you guys have bought a course from me that you pay full price for. It's just one of those things. It's like when you go to the store and you see something on sale and you're like, oh, I just paid full price. It's just one of those things. Get in now, you get the other stuff in the future. If you know you're gonna be getting in, cool. If, if, if you've never bought, it's your lucky day. If you bought something, that could be in the bundle along with the other courses. The, the, the reality is most of my clients buy one thing, but they need something else that's in the bundle. So a lot of people who buy online course magic, you need to put your business on paper and you need to be working on sales, which is in the bundle. So just get the bundle. You know what I mean? Like it just makes sense. And it's one of those things where it's just the way that it goes. Love ya. <laughs> yeah, full price is still a steal. I give amazing deals. That's why I'd be like, I just smile at the end of the price. I give amazing deals. I love you, girl. I know you understand the value. I ain't even tripping. Hey, beautiful. I want to make 20K with dance fitness. I love it. How do I do that in Dallas? Publicity. Like you people need to know that your dance classes exist. You came to the class on Sunday and everybody was kind of mumbling because they wanted to come to the dance class. Boom. You need people. Everybody. Business needs people. You guys. Business needs people. Okay. Let me tell you about something. Here's what's crazy. You guys had a class. I'd never buy this for my house, but they bought this for the class. And so they're still in my house. So technically it's time for champagne and Cheetos. It's 1 p.m. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite color and your favorite NFL team? Um, I'm going to say Cowboys because my family would kill me. And color probably red because you can't say black. Uh, how much is the business? LakeishaMichelle.com is the website. It's $97 a month, guys. 
$97 a month. Um, I finally put resignation in corporate. I start cosmetology school in a few weeks. I might be a server. Make wigs. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So you're going to get your license. And the thing is, guys, the beautiful part about today is that I started on the internet when I was in cosmetology school way like early. But it was it worked in my favor because I didn't know what I was doing, but I was in the right place. I was on Google and I didn't know that Google was as powerful. I didn't know how that stuff worked. So once I understood how it worked, it's like, oh, my gosh, people were just finding me. That's the power of YouTube. YouTube is in the is that course alone. You need to sign up and do it for a month. Like for real. YouTube marketing is where it's at. If I search right now, if you want to be known as something, I don't know, the best wedding, the best wedding planner. Look, the best wedding planner book, the best wedding planner app, the best wedding planner binder. You could literally make 20 videos per topic and dominate the internet on that topic and everybody will call you from everywhere. So I see the best wedding planners. I see who got a video. That's so funny. There's no videos, but there are people paying. So that's how you know it's a lucrative category when people are paying. Now, when I hit video tab, um, I see somebody posted in 2017. Somebody posted in March 2018. So March 2018, somebody's posting videos in March 2018. But that's wide open. So if you're an event planner and you want to be known for weddings, you think it's okay to market in school. That's exactly what I did. That's what I was saying. Like, that's all I did. I literally would on my lunch break in school, go pass out flyers. I made people come see me at the school. And then I let them know when I get out of here, you ain't paying school prices. But I respect the school floor. I respect their prices at that time because I needed to build the muscle of doing a bunch of people because I knew how much money I wanted to make. Now, the number was low, but I still knew like I need to make money. I need to be able to get people in and out. So I practice. I use my school. I got all my money's worth. I got some weirdos on here today. Hmm. I do have freedom. And guys, deciding that you want to have freedom, it really is a decision. And then your mind, because it knows that you're serious and you're solid, it will begin to bring things forth in your life. Like, for real? I'll be feeling guilty sometimes. Okay, so... 8K a month. This is the easiest way to break down your number, guys. It's generic, but it's one of the easiest way. $8,000 a month divided by four weeks, divided by five days, divided by eight hours. $50 an hour. What can you do $50 an hour, eight hours a day? Hmm? Okay, for you. So the person who wants to make $1,000 a month, $1,000 a month divided by four weeks, divided by five days, divided by eight hours, that's $6.25 an hour. What can you do, right? I'm so afraid to charge people. That's why we talk about mindset all the time. Because mindset, if you're scared, even when you go past our flyers, you're going to have a scary energy that tells people the average person going to be like, next. They're not even going to resonate with you because they're going to read your energy first. And so you got to figure out what you're scared of. Why are you afraid to charge? Let's really deal with that in the comments. Why are you afraid to charge? Don't say, I don't know. Just give me the first thing that pops up. Okay, 15K a month. That's 37.50 a week divided by five days. I'm saying five days, but you know, typically you won't work when you first get started every day. That's 750 divided by eight hours. So you need to make like $94 an hour. So you need to sell $94 worth of jewelry every hour. And then, it, and then it becomes a game of how can you leverage the hour? 
And how can you leverage your, you need to be visible. That's going to be a matter of how many people can you get in front of with the jury on. If I put on some jury right now and I just stand here and act like HSN every single day, it will sell. Got an idea. Like literally, if you have a product like that, go study HSN. I teach that in my class. HSN sells thousands per minute. You need to do what they're doing. Okay. This is great. I see the comments. So one mistake that people make all the time when it comes to money. <laughs> you said, I'm about to make you get some chips. These chips good. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, y'all. Okay. One people, one mistake, and I used to do this. I know exactly what you mean. Like when I first got my license, I would I was comfortable charging like $30, but I wasn't I was I was comfortable charging like $30, $35, you know, $45 for a relaxer. I was really undercharging. And I do, I've been doing hair since I was 13. So I can freaking do hair. Like there's never, I should have came out the gate charging regular price because I know how to do hair. But I was in my head and I was also listening to the customers' broke stories about whatever. Because remember, you attract what you are. So it's <laughs> <laughs> but even on the brokers day, we getting our hair down. Okay. So I was like, listen to them. And then it was time for me to pay. And I just heard them talk about any K pay day, whatever, but you rolled up in here to get your hair done. So you got to pay me. Cause I got to pay Verizon and I can't pay Verizon with nothing but the price point that they asked for. So your job is never to be so it's not, it's your business. It's not emotional. So you provide a service, right? And there's a price point and that's a, Valuable exchange. So that's it. It's not emotional. It's not emotional. It's not about what they say they can and can't do. Because think about it. You know, when you wouldn't have no money and you wouldn't involve something, you made it happen. So it's just about you getting your feelings out the way. And it is about being rejected. You're scared they're going to say no. So then it's like, really, let's deal with the spirit of rejection, which brings in so many other spirits. The spirit of rejection brings in so many other little creepy spirits. And so we're trying to have these businesses. And it's just steering the wheel. And so you never really market the way you want. You never really go after business the way you want because you are just so deathly afraid of being rejected. For me, it was like that because I was like, okay, my, I feel like, you know, when I was growing up, I got rejected a lot. So then I would overdo it all the time. Like overdo, I would, I would just do everything for everybody for free. Like everything. And then I'm like, oh, you just give me something. Oh, you give me something. Why? Because I just want people to like me because I feel like I was getting rejected. Whack. If they negotiate, no. And here's how you deal with that. You have paperwork. So get you some paperwork. They got the prices on it. That way you just point, just point to the paper. Oh yeah, you see this right here. And just go like this. Yeah, you got this and this, so that's gonna be that. How are you making the payment today? That's it. Grown folks, we out here doing that. Don't be worried about them. And then mental note, you need the right type of clientele, which means you need to look at your messaging. How are you messaging? How are you carrying yourself? Are you looking like you deserve to be paid? We talk about that in the program. You cannot manage other people's Lack of resources for your business. Does that make sense? Oh, that's too much. Okay. Thank you so much for checking it out. That's it. That's so it. But it really does help if you have paperwork of your pricing. That way. It's clear. It's right there. Put the prices on the website. I talk about that in the class. Put the prices on the website. That way, they already know before they get to you, your, your message should be so clear. I teach you this in the mastermind. The YouTube, the website should answer so many questions. By the time they get to you, all they're doing is hand you the credit card. They're chilling. You want to market like that. Yeah, there is a fear of charging because you feel like you don't have no money, so you need to get everybody. No, you need to stand on your value. What? 
you are not the father. <laughs> what? Mm. I'm confused. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, it's fear all day long. We got some weirdos on here today. Yeah, you just gotta, if people also will do what they think they can do. So like, if you have an energy of, gotta be $37, like they're gonna be like, well, no, I wanna pay 20. And they're gonna look at you like this. So you need to have faith. And when you're, I don't care, act like you me, just turn to a whole other person. That'll be $297. And that's it. Hold. Hold for the card. Okay. Hold for the card. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. People think I'm too hot. Who cares? Or, and here's a question. Do you think you're too hot? Because if you know you're giving something that's valuable, then just leave it be. Look at the market also. Like, what's happening? Are you in, like, a podunk town trying to charge Hollywood prices? Then that don't make sense, like, right? Because then th those people really don't have the money. That, there's no job. There's no whatever. And the people who told you too expensive just weren't your people. There are people who want. That's why marketing matters. You got to be able to deliver your message and show consistently put promote the business in a way that by the time they get to you, they already know everything. My my strategy with YouTube was they would go from YouTube to my website. The YouTube video will show just how thorough I was and it really showed them the result that they're going to get. It told them to go to the website, right? They go to the website. The website showed them client reviews. It showed them pricing. It showed them more before and after. It showed them what to expect, what not to expect. And it just, it let them, I answered all of the questions that people would ask, the same questions that people would ask over and over, I would answer on the site. By the time they got to me, they didn't have no questions because I answered. And then when they went to the booking link to book online, I had a whole bunch of stuff there. So it was like every step of the way, I'm answering all, I'm handling all the objections. You know, so I don't care what you, you when you're here, the price has been shown, it's everywhere. It's in the salon. It's everywhere. Same thing on anything I'm doing here. Mm. I attract those that don't want to buy, but they buy other things with the beautiful homes. Exactly, because it's your energy, guys. People do with their energy. They know who they can get over because rich people love getting a deal. I know. Listen, I ain't going to say rich as if... <laughs> I'm excluded. But you know what I mean? Like people that are fiscally also responsible, they love getting a deal. So, and they, they get a kick out of haggling prices too. So it's not about money or who has it and who doesn't because it doesn't matter. It's about this is the service. Here's the value. That's it. The end. Why did you give me like 12 chips in the bag? I'm going to go eat. Your girl is hungry. Okay. There will be every play. We're about to go. You guys, go, get in the, the mastermind shows you. I talk about all of this stuff all the time. If you guys want me as your coach to go deep, this is so high level. When we want to get into, into detail strategy, you want to be in this mastermind, okay? It's literally closing on Tuesday, $97 a month. You get instant access to the informate, the business courses. So you can join once you join, just jump into the Facebook group and say, Keisha, here's my problem. What should I do first? That's so simple. And we just, we get to work. Um, if you need more information, go to LakeishaMichelle.com, guys. LakeishaMichelle.com. You just told me how, how say what to share. <laughs> just did a watercolor YouTube video. My first. Now, think, now to think of how to title the post. Goal is to attract 
uh, future students. Yeah, how are they Googling? You're always in my mind. I'm going to practice that smile. Yes, I believe in what you are saying. I need to start doing everything you're saying. Come on, join the crew. The whole thing is don't grow along. Come hang out with a bunch of CEOs who are working on building their businesses, hitting their number goals, who are working on putting themselves out there and being uncomfortable and doing it anyway. If you want to be able to ask me any questions 24, well, and I'll say 24 seven, because that's really dramatic, but you have the mastermind group um, where you can ask me questions there and um, get support and see other people doing their thing. Like if you are the only one around you trying to do your thing, that's annoying, right? So I'm just trying to make sure I provide a space for you guys to actually build your businesses and get in, like whenever I get stuck, I got millionaire mentors to turn to, you know, and like they give like they could, it's insane. You got people who make millions in days. And I'm going to talk about a year, but you need people that are smarter than you that are growing faster than you. Right. And so in this group, my goal is to make sure that you can six figures should be your minimum. A hundred thousand dollars should be easy for you. OK. And then from there, you just keep going. You keep building. Right. And so these courses will support you in building your um your numbers for show for show for show the exact things that are working now um and then you have access to coaching so you guys you want to ask more questions you want to go deeper holla at your girl in the mastermind group by joining it's 97 dollars a month you join at lakeishamichelle.com um if you choose it's not for you just cancel holla back and it's self-paced um and then you'll have the live stream calls with me um, amen. I like that to look like you should get paid what you're asking for and then send your value. Exactly. Sometimes guys, I'm telling you, it's, it's energetic. If I came to you and then somebody else came looking like, you know, they just woke up. Who would you think would, who would, did you naturally think is getting money? Right. And you naturally not going to haggle them as much as you would have the person who say, give me you like, okay. You smell like last night's cigarettes. You're whispering. I can't hear what you're saying. You're slouched over. Like, stand up straight and quote your price. And smile. Quote your price and smile. That needs to be a song. Quote your price and smile. Quote your price and smile. Ask him what you're waiting on. Give me that credit card, child. Hey, quote your price and smile. Quote your price and smile. Ask him what you're waiting on. Give me that credit card, child. Give me that money. Just, you guys, you see how I just gets a whole two minutes. Sorry, I gotta look at it. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, guys, I'm about to go. LakeishaMichelle.com. <laughs> ah, Y'all are crazy. Um, Wix.com. I teach you how to make a website on there in the class. I teach so much stuff in this class. It's insane. Glenn, is you dancing? Got that jack and tie. Hey, got that jack and tie. Hey, I don't even know what I was just saying. Um, Yeah, Wix.com. This has been great. Thank you. Which that I just kind of wanted to do like boot camps, so like just answer questions and just have fun with you. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. <laughs> oh, culture price and smile. Yes, that's gonna be a song. Culture price and smile. Culture price and smile. Ask him what you waiting on. Give me that credit card check. Give me that money, 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 money. Okay, so I'm done. <laughs> Did you make your own website? Yes, I still do. It's not that serious, y'all. The money that you want to make ain't got nothing to do with your website. People only go to my website when I tell them to. Your money has to do with you and your mouth and your marketing plan and the schedule and you actually doing the work, right? Wix.com is the bomb. I teach you how to make a website. I can make, I can make a Wix site in like 30 minutes. It takes no time. No time. Because once you make that website, then it's going to be like, ta-da, and it's going to be crickets. Because your job is not the web. I know so many people. Somebody, I just helped somebody make five figures last year part-time. She don't have a website. She just did what I say do. Like, and the thing about business, guys, and just taking a leap and even getting coaching and stuff like that, you guys got to trust that there's more for you and stop trying to figure out what you don't know and get you a coach who knows what you don't know. Because then... Because I don't know what I don't know, I'm always going around in a circle because I don't know what I don't know. So I'm always looking and I'm always alone. Like, just come join the mastermind. If you don't like it, peace out. Right? Um, <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right, I'm done. LakeishaMichelle.com. Holla back at your girl. It's 126. And I'm going to work on our new campaign. I'm so excited about this coming up. So I got to go. Holla back.